So you say you have other suitors beyond IAG. Who exactly are there? You know, low cost. Is it Ryanair, EasyJet, or is it someone like Lufthansa? Uh, again, good morning. Uh, no, actually, I cannot. Uh, I cannot tell uh, who they are. But uh, the only thing I can uh, tell is that they are very serious uh, uh, people and very serious uh, uh, part of the industry. Uh, and uh, so they have. Uh, they have taken a lot of interest in in uh, Norwegian. Um, I understand. I understand for reasons that the, the markets also understand that you can't tell us. But would there be investors outside Europe? And could it also be investors interested in your company that are not airlines? Uh, so far, it's, uh, it's uh, airline groups. Uh, but uh, I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, tell uh, uh, who they are. And, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's the board that handles this. I'm just uh, yeah, the CEO of the company and, uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, shareholders, but it's the board that handles these uh, questions. Uh, but to say it for myself, uh, I say that uh, we have been, uh, we have, been uh, have done a lot of graphs now and we will uh, soon come into the harvesting mode and uh, so you will see a, a totally different uh, Norwegian uh, in a short time. I understand that you're very limited in what you can tell us, but can you tell us whether you would hope for a white knight to step up or whether you would be interested in pursuing some kind of sell-off? No, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, yes. there's a saying that if the price is right, uh, everything is for sale. Uh, but uh, yeah, to, on the present share price, uh, yeah, I anticipate uh, that uh, the board will not uh, be... Uh, 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 advising and the sale of uh, any shares. Okay, um, so give me a sense about the 140 aircraft that Norwegian is in the process of selling. What exactly are they? What will you sell? No, we are uh, we are saying uh, to the market that we are in the process of uh, engaging with um, interesting parties for a large part uh, of the fleet. Uh, and uh, we have always uh, said that uh, the older aircraft will be phased out, and uh, also part of the aircraft that we uh, do not anticipate that we will fly in the future. So uh, it's actually nothing new. The only thing new is uh, actually that uh, we have um, we are told what's the maximum of, uh, of aircraft uh, that uh, we can, we can divest, but you have to remember that we have an order of uh, more than 200 aircraft, so we are still in the growth phase. And Mr. Kjels, have you speak, spoken to IAG about uh, the, the potential offer for the company? I know when we were talking just a couple of seconds ago, you were telling me that it all depends on the price. Um, have you spoken to IAG, and do you have a ballpark figure that you would be willing to sell for? No, uh, this is uh, this is uh, the board that have to handle all these uh, types of questions. There is not uh, any single shareholder, and particularly not me as a CEO, that uh, should handle this um, this uh, type of question. Uh, I'm only saying that uh, IG is a very reputable uh, company, and, uh, and I know personally Willy Wolfs as a. As a uh, one of the best guys in the industry. So uh, we are good. To, uh, we are very pleased to have them on board as shareholders. Uh, other than that, I have uh, no comments. All right. And so you won't confirm or deny whether you have met with him about, about the offer in recent weeks? No, it's, uh, it's the board that have to decide on this. All right, I understand. Sir, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. He is Bjorn Kios, and he's the Norwegian Air Shuttle Chief Executive.